Welcome to the first episode of the Component Guide for Rust. In this first episode, we're going to take a look at these new smart alarms and uh, switches and uh, get to know how those work. I choose to do those first because they are the newest addition to the game and they are also quite important uh, security-wise for the base. So here I have three smart switches and one alarm. And uh, this is what I've set up as a like test security thing for the base. So I have on my phone here, I have a light second trigger. You can see the switch over here turns on. Turns off, turns on, turn off. I have inner turrets, which is the inside turrets. You can see the switch over here turned on. You can turn it back off. I do all this via my phone. I also have this smart alarm outside of my base here. You can see that I have a player that I have spawned. I also have a random airdrop there. Okay. When I spawned in a random player, I have HPHF sensors all around the base. And if I toggle on the security alarm, I get a notification on my phone that says someone is at your base. Every sensor will detect if players are close and send me a notification on my phone. I can also turn that off. So if I'm online and I don't want to get notifications on my phone every time someone's outside my base, I can turn it off. Now we're going to look at how you can enable this and pair it to your phone. I'm not going to show the process on how you connect the phone app to the server. That is quite simple if you just follow this. Basically what you do to do that is you download the app and then you connect it, your Steam account to the app. Then you join the server you want to play on and hit this Rust Plus button. And you uh, click Pair to Server or whatever it says. So here we look at the Smart Switch and Smart Alarm. In the staging branch you had to give it power before you could pair it. But now I seem to be able to pair it anyways. Which is quite nice. We can take a look at the smart switch first and get that working on our phone. So if we just give it power first, like so, you hold E on it, hit pair. My phone should now get a notification. Perfect. I open up my phone and the notification says tap to pair with this device. I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit pair device and now that is paired to my phone. If I hit the switch, you can see it turns on. I can walk away so you know it's the phone doing it. Now I'm spamming it and it happens quite instant, which is quite nice actually. I'm just going to hook the switch up to a siren light. So now we have an indication of it working. Perfect. And then to pair the uh, alarm, you hold the on it, click pair. You should get a notification again and pair device. Now you cannot toggle that on and shit on your phone, of course. It says inactive at the moment for me. But if you take the smart switch, you just pair to your phone and hook that up to the smart alarm. And then you turn on the switch. I get a notification saying, alarm, your base is under attack. And turn it back off. You can hit E on it to change the notification message. So I'm going to do change this to base core. Someone is inside your core. Save. Now, if I now turn on the switch, I get a notification saying, base core, someone is inside your core. I'm just going to toggle the lights because it kind of starts getting dark here. The thing is, the smart alarm, you can hook it up to a HBHF sensor. So if I disconnect this and we connect it to a HPHF sensor, instead we take the power out, 
to the smart alarm. And take the power in over here. It's going to trigger right away. Because it detected me. The smart switch you can craft for three high quality and one tech trash added to your one workbench. You can also buy it at outpost for 75 scrap. It's also the exact same with the smart alarm. It also costs uh, three high qual and one tech trash at a tier one workbench. Or you can also buy that at outpost for 75 scrap. So these are quite easy to get in game. Only thing you really have to get is a power source. Now, if we look at the switch and the smart switch, one thing which is Quite nice about the smart switch, which makes it better than the regular switch, is that it requires building privilege to operate on it. So if I remove my building privilege, I can no longer turn this one on. I can still use this one, but I cannot trigger this one. Unless, of course, I have paired it with my phone. Therefore, I suggest in general to use the smart switch over a regular switch. So if you have lights in your base connected to a switch, get a smart switch instead. Same with turrets. If you have turrets around your base, a whole security system set up, and it's all connected on a switch, use a smart switch instead. If someone raids you, they can't simply get to your electric room and uh, turn off all, your, all of your security. They will actually have to get TC in order to do that. Of course, right here, I've set up just a uh, simple security system using the smart switch and smart alarms. But if you'd like to see me do uh, a actual base build with a smart security system, let me know in the comments below and I'll, uh, I'll be sure to do that. That would be fun. With that said, that's the smart switch and smart alarm. If there's anything I missed and did not cover in this video, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Anyways, have a great day.